Neighbors say the Mickliches have lived here on Grant Street in Kingsford for nearly 20 years, but they didn't see them much. In fact, nobody said they really got to know them. They kept to themselves. I mean, I've been here 20 years, and they, all the neighbors keep to themselves. The woman across the street says her 42-year-old neighbor, Gary Mikulich, was living here with his mother. His father died about six years ago. She said the usually quiet street was bumper to bumper with cars on Thursday. Police cruisers and the SWAT team, plus the bomb squad. Well, I was shocked. <laughs> Scared me. Really did. While they really didn't know him, most of the neighbors were surprised when authorities arrested Mikulich. No one was home when we knocked there on Friday. Gary, do you have anything to say? It was the same day Mikulich faced a judge in Marquette. Cameras were not allowed in the courtroom, but I was the only Detroit reporter inside when the judge started to talk to him about being accused of trying to bomb the federal building in Detroit. Authorities found an explosive inside the building that they believe he left outside last month. I seen the guy take some stuff out of his bomb squad car, but that was it. She says nothing could be seen being taken in or out of the home, and the man renting next door says authorities spent over eight hours here. Guys would have Matt, how's Matt was there, and you know, it was a pretty big deal. Even though his car was at home, Mikulich is still in custody pending a mental health evaluation before going to face charges in Detroit. In the arrest affidavit, this is the Home Depot in Iron Mountain that the FBI say Mikulich came to to buy the tool bag that they say he placed the bomb in and the timer that he used to make the bomb. It's less than 10 minutes from his house. In Iron Mountain, Julie Bonovich, Channel 7, Action News.